The queue stretched well beyond the doors of this Pennsylvania hotel. They'd been arriving through the afternoon for an evening with the world's richest man. I'm supporting Trump and Elon, absolutely. Yeah, they were great for our country and for our future. On message and on brand. Is it Trump, is it Musk, or is it both? Both. And I'm really hoping to hear that Musk is going to say that he's going to take over efficiency of the government. Have you come down here to, to see Elon Musk yes. to yes. support Donald Trump or to get a million dollars? Oh, to support, it's, it's America first. And we need to keep praying for this election. It's, it's do or die. And so they squeezed into the ballroom for a billionaire who was late. Sport filled the time and awkwardly campaign ads for the other side met with pantomime boos. Eventually, he arrived. It was hard not to wonder why they had been drawn tonight. They've been watching over the past week as this Trumpian Willy Wonka has been touring swing states, handing out checks of a million dollars to lucky individuals. I mean, I, I do think, like, we, we, we're at a, like I said, a, a fork in the road of destiny. On the face of it, the point of all this is to encourage people to vote early. Quite the twist, given Trump spent years telling people early voting was the root of all fraud. Now they realize that every vote counts whenever it's cast. Maybe the aliens will come visit us. Maybe, I mean, maybe they are here right now. I don't know. Um, well, it's certainly been a meandering conversation. There's been talk about how brilliant Twitter is, how amazing cyber trucks are. Uh, talk about whether aliens uh, exist when he will go to Mars. But, but beyond that, within that conversation, there has been some pretty thoughtful stuff uh, about how policy, political policy, could change in America. What yes. would be your plan to make government more efficient? Where would you start with government efficiency? It's, and it's kind of like being in a room where the entire room is targets. And so you can shoot in any direction and not miss. <laughs> 600 miles to the west in Michigan, another key swing state, the Democrats had deployed an altogether different surrogate. If Donald Trump is president again, at some point or another, that ugliness will touch all of our lives. She warned about the profound dangers she sees in Donald Trump, but it was another message which she hoped would punch into the living rooms of suburban middle-aged women and their men. So please, please do not hand our fates over to the lights of Trump who knows nothing about us, who has shown deep contempt for us. Because a vote for him is a vote against us. So, fellas, before you cast your votes, ask yourselves, what side of history do you want to be on? Back in Pennsylvania, it was time for the million-dollar moment. Judy Kamara. <laughs> the winner, naturally delighted, Mr. Musk reacted like he'd given away a tenner. There are serious questions about whether this lottery is legal and about Musk's motivation for all this. No one did ask him about his alleged conversations over several years with Vladimir Putin. No one asked him about conflicts I mean, of interest if he does serve in a second term. Trump term. With the election so close, it seems there isn't time for scrutiny. Mark Stone, Sky News in Pennsylvania.